Um, first of all, I think that uh, we should be very uh, thoughtful about the fact that we're talking about a, a more complex ecosystem than we had before we had the net. There are different ways now of distributing things, it's easier and so on. Uh, a lot of the business model discussions tend to uh, start from a premise that there's only a certain way to do something. And my sense of this discussion is an interest in discovering alternate ways of achieving some of these objectives. I don't think that we should go away from this big tent notion that lots of different models should be permitted. So if someone creates something and says, I wish to be compensated for it, uh, they should be able to make that assertion and have mechanisms available to try to uh, make that happen. An awful lot of the money that's generated in creative works comes about in part be, uh, by controlling access. Uh, whether that is a performance, which you control by either letting people in the door or not, and this is a non-reusable kind of uh, uh, access because the performance happens, it's ephemeral, if you weren't there, you don't get the benefit for it. Uh, you generate revenue by paying to get in. There are ways of creating performances that are reusable, and that's what recordings are about, and, and you can look back over history and see a variety of different ways in which these reusable instances happen. It used to be printed sheet music, used to be a very common way of generating revenue, and I don't know how much is generated from that anymore. Then recording mechanisms came along. So what I'm uh, struggling with here is uh, to say that this group shows evidence of an interest in looking more broadly at different kinds of models and also accepting the idea that at the far end of the spectrum, at some point, the purpose behind copyright was supposed to be finite and that at some point it isn't controlled anymore. It becomes part of the public domain. Now, I know that's true in the print works. Am I also correct that this is true in the other works? That being the case, we haven't talked very much about the seed corn of creativity, and public domain material is that seed corn. I don't know how many movies I've seen that have plots that are derived from materials that have become public domain. Let's not forget that that's the other part of this equation. So clearly, no complete resolution at all. Big opportunities to explore alternative ways of either producing revenue or sharing content and ways of feeding the creative process. Um.